I just want to be uh, clear and maybe ask, I think, the political question here, which is, are Canadians to read into anything into that and your support or lack thereof of the leader of the NDP, Jagmeet Singh? Welcome back to Northern Perspective, everyone. I'm Cypher. And I'm Fox. The NDP can say what they want, but it looks as if Jagmeet's caucus is not happy with him and has declared that enough is enough by announcing that they are abandoning ship. So what does this mean in the big picture? Let's take a look. So this is from a news article that Yahoo News Canada posted where it states three NDP MPs announce they're leaving politics. NDP MPs Charlie Angus, Carol Hughes, and Rachel Blaney all announced Thursday that they will not be seeking re-election. After seven elections, 20 years of service in Parliament, and the privilege of being the longest-serving MP in Timmins history, it is time to pass the baton, Angus wrote in a social media post Thursday. The longest serving of the three MPs, Angus has represented a vast area in Northern Ontario since his first victory in the 2004 federal election, turning what had been a strong liberal seat orange. One of the NDP's most prominent voices, the 61-year-old is well known as a former punk rocker. He played with former NDP MP Andrew Cash and worked as a community activist in Toronto. He's the author of several books. He ran for the leadership of the NDP in 2017, eventually placing second to current leader Jagmeet Singh. He said in a news release Thursday that he tried to take a pragmatic approach to politics, quote, but I and my NDP colleagues never wavered in our progressive ideals and I am proud of the work I've done, end quote. He specifically cited the coming changes to his riding as part of the reason for his retirement. His riding of Timmins James Bay is set to expand by more than 20,000 square kilometers, encompassing many new communities and being renamed Kapus Casing Timmins Mushkegawik in the next federal election. Speaking at an event in Winnipeg on Thursday, Singh said that while it was sad to see veteran MPs leaving, the party has some exciting candidates stepping forward. He framed the departures as normal turnover. Quote, it's always tough, though, to see veterans move on, but we respect the great work they've done. We honor them and will continue their legacy with some great new MPs, end quote. He said, we're seeing our party in a really strong position. Sure you do. Hughes also represents a riding in Northern Ontario that is changing significantly through a once-in-a-decade redistribution process. Algoma Manitoulin Capus Casing, next door to Angus's seat, covers a swath of land stretching from Manitoulin Island to the town of Hearst. The riding is being eliminated entirely and divided up among neighboring constituencies. Hughes won her seat in 2008, beating longtime Liberal Brent Saint-Denis after losing to him twice in previous elections. Angus and Hughes both fought against the changes coming to their ridings and the ridings in Northern Ontario. Hughes, 65, was part of the Canadian Labour Congress prior to her time in elected politics. She served as Assistant Deputy Speaker since 2015 and has held multiple critical roles for the NDP. Blaney was elected in 2015 in the riding of North Island Power River. Much of the riding previously had been held by Conservative Minister John Duncan. Quote, being an MP has been a great privilege and honor, but it's time for me to focus on my family and stay closer to home on beautiful Vancouver Island, end quote, Blaney said in a media statement. Blaney's riding is not changing significantly under the new maps. Several other NDP MPs have already announced they are not seeking re-election, including Randall Garrison and Richard Gan Cannings. Daniel Blakey recently left his seat to work for Manitoba Premier Wab Canoe. So... This is kind of interesting, but before we get into it, Charlie Angus spoke with Vasi Kapalos today on CTV News on her segment called Power Play. Let's take a look at a piece of uh, what he said and some of the questions that Vasi has been known to ask. And I, I, I believe democracy is a great, is still powerful and can be, and I love our country, but we all, I think, have to pick up our game to, to 
to, to maintain that respect that, that people should have in their public institutions. You uh, mentioned Carol Hughes. Uh, you're not the only NDP MP to announce that, that you're leaving politics today. Ms. Hughes, as well as another one of your colleagues, Ms. Blaney, uh, did as well. Uh, Mr. Blakey is moving on to Premier Canoe's office. A couple of other MPs have announced that they're going to retire from politics as well. I just want to be uh, clear and maybe ask, I think, the political question here, which is, are Canadians to read into anything into that and your support or lack thereof of the leader of the NDP, Jagmeet Singh? Well, I, 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 I love Daniel Blakey, but I'm going to hold this against Wab Canoe forever, that Wab Canoe stole <laughs> such a, a great uh, presence uh, from the federal house. And I, and I know why Daniel left. I mean, you know, you got a young family and you can do that work in your province. You know, for Carol and I, it was very much the, the riding. I mean, she lost her riding. Her riding was already enormous. My riding's much bigger. Uh, Rachel, same thing of trying to represent and being so far from home. But Democracy is always about renewal. And I mean, I've been seven caucuses. Uh, when I joined the party, they were talking about the end of the NDP and is this the end and what's the future of your leader? I've, I've seen so many great leader, people leave our caucus that I never thought we'd survive. And I think what's important is knowing when renewal should happen. And I, I, I'm really proud of the work our caucus has done and I'm very excited about where it's going to go. And one of the reasons I made the decision now in April is to keep the eye on the prize. We have to set the, the ground here in the new riding uh, for, for the next candidate. And it's actually a much stronger NDP riding. I've had people say, hey, dude, are you nuts? You get better polls in the new riding. I said, I know, but like, look at my hair, it's turned gray. I was like, I was a young lad when I, I joined politics. So a renewal is renewals the lifeblood of democracy. Notice he didn't mention anything about Jagmeet Singh in that statement? Yeah, it was a very strange answer to a very direct question. Yeah, he didn't he didn't choose to talk about Jagmeet at all. He talked about the caucus. He also talked about, you know, there were some interesting just nuggets that he dropped in there. One about, you know, pre people previously said before that it would be the end of the NDP because we've had strong caucus members leaving. And in terms of the NDP, say what you want, about the MPs that are leaving. These are some of their, their strongest people in, in the NDP. Yeah, Charlie Angus was runner up for leader. Yeah, and Rachel Blaney, we've seen her in committee, very she's, strong. Yeah, she's she asks good questions. She's kind of like, Anne, you know, Matthew Green, where, you know, when she's actually advocating for Canadians, she's really, really good. It's, you know, when they start advocating for the crazy policies of the NDP that, that's where everything falls off the rails. Or for the Liberals. So, um, and it was also interesting, um, you know, we, we, we left the, his, his first um, statement in there where he says that, um, you know, everyone has to step up um, and, you know, implying that they, they really have noticed Canadians turning against them. So the question is, is, why now? Now, for those of you that, that don't know, um, as the article stated, but we'll spell it out. Over the last year, you've had now six, six NDP MPs say they're done. They're not coming back. So that was Daniel Blakey recently, Randall Garrison, Richard Cannings last year on, on different months, different days. And then all of a sudden, you have Charlie Angus, Carol Hughes, and Rachel Blaney all on the same day say, we're done. And I just want to clarify that when Cypress says they say they're done, he doesn't mean that they're out of caucus, that they're leaving today. Correct. That It's just that they will not be seeking re-election. So this is going to be their last term in office. Once we hit an election, it's going to be somebody else's name on the ballot under NDP. It won't be theirs. So usually something happens to well, prompt that. Daniel Blakey got a new job, so he's kind of the anomaly in all this. The other five, again, they, they're not stepping down, but when we do come to an election, they're not putting their name on the ballot. Well, and some of you may be wondering, okay, so, you know, what does it look like from a polling perspective? Well, here's Rachel Blaney's riding. So this isn't changing under the new boundary changes. She's 10 points behind. This is Charlie Angus's current writing. So if an election was held today, um, it would be a fight. It's possible that it's a conservative win, but it would be a fight. And remember, this is with today's current writing boundaries. 
after April 22nd, when the writing boundaries change, this could look different. Well, it's supposed to get more NDP friendly if Allegedly. you believe if you believe Charlie Angus. So this is Carol Hughes. So um, this writing disappears, right? Disappears. So it's very interesting that you have three senior members of Jagmeet's caucus, and his his statement was, "Well, turnover is good." I think something happened here, folks. Oh, I absolutely think something happened. Whether they had a, a caucus meeting or like a Zoom call or, or what, but three of them all on the same day. I wonder if these three kind of collaborated with each other and were like, you know what? Nuts to this. We're done. Let's announce it all on the same day. Well, and it's, it's, it's reasonable to see why they would do that, right? Because let's take a look at where the polls are going for the NDP again. So you have the latest Nanos polls going down again by a whole nother point for the NDP. Where's the cheering throng at the NDP's door for dental care, for... Pharmacare. Alleged pharmacare. pharmacare. Yeah. Uh, for this alleged national food program, for this alleged, you know, renters, you know, protection stuff. Like, it's not there. And you know what they're hearing from their constituents instead? They're hearing that we don't want you to be supporting the liberals anymore. We want you to stand up for your constituents, you know, like we voted you to do. And we want an election right now. So this is not coincidence that these three seasoned MPs are all stepping down from the NDP caucus. It's because of Canadians like you contacting your MP and telling them, you know what? I'm sick and tired of you propping up for the Liberals. I did not vote for the Liberals. I voted for you and you're not doing your job. You're not doing your job as an opposition party and you're certainly not doing your job to stick up for your constituents. Now, you may say, well, you know, six MPs in the grand scheme of things, you know, that's not a lot. Maybe when you're talking about the Conservative Caucus or the Liberal Caucus. But folks, we're talking about a party with 25 total MPs. Well, 24 now that Blakey's gone. So if you look at that, just in terms of percentages, that's 25%, almost 25% of their whole party has said, we're done. We're not coming back. And three of them are really, really strong, you know, MPs. Don't get me wrong. I would not vote for Blaney. I would not vote for Angus. And I would not vote for Hughes. But in terms of these role players within the NDP, they are very, very important people to the NDP party. Now they're gone. So there must have been a significant disagreement within the caucus. And... Why are they doing it right right now? Why are they not doing it after the boundary changes? I'm guessing these are three NDP MPs that wanted a spring election. Yeah, they, they were hoping that having an election before the writing boundary change would save their seats. Now, I personally don't think that completely rules out the possibility of a spring or possibly even summer election. I think it's really like a coin flip right now. Anything could happen. Yeah, so we will see how it goes. But um, what this does kind of affirm is what we've been saying for a while, which is there's got to be people within the NDP caucus that are seeing this deadline approach, seeing their writings completely change or disappear as a result of the boundary change and not being happy about it. Well, and this is the result. Yeah, and I think these MPs are announcing their retirement now in order to possibly, again, I'm not sure, but I think it's still a possibility, but to possibly open up the space to, to select a new nom nominee and have their name on an upcoming ballot that may be in the spring, may be in the summer. Yeah, because it's... Um... When when you when you look at candidates, and th think of think of the uh, something that the Jagmeet said. Um, well, we have some some really exciting candidates coming up. Okay, well, 
Who cares? If an election's a year and a half away, who cares? Yeah, you're not going to bother selecting a candidate this early unless you know something's coming. So it it opens up some interesting questions here. But, um, you know, regardless, this is a really big blow to the NDP. And uh, I think it really says a lot of what is going on behind the scenes and the chaos that is going on within the NDP party. And one thing's for sure, um, I don't think Jagmeet is on stable ground in the slightest within his party. I think stuff is going down and things are going to get more and more problematic for him as time goes on. As his polls keep going down, confidence in his leadership is going with it. (laughs) 